Hi guys, it's me So Derek, and today we're going to be doing a twisted twist knot tutorial. We have the cute twist in the front to keep the hair out of your face and then we have a regular twist out with the knot in the back. So let's get started. So we're going to start off with sectioned hair and it is co-washed already and detangled. I'm going to put in some of my leave-in conditioner and I like to use the Cantu leave-in conditioner. And I'm just going to apply that to all of my sections. First we're going to start off by making a part. I like side parts so I'm going to make mine on the side and then I'm going to part both sides of my hair because I'll be doing a twist on both sides of my hair. Once I have the part the way I want it, I'm going to use the As I Am smoothing gel right there to smooth down my edges before I begin to twist. Next I will apply some of my homemade shea butter cream. The shea butter provides great moisture and definition to my curls, so I will apply that and then I'll begin to flat twist. Okay, so now that I have my twist completed, I'm just going to secure the end with a rubber band and then I'm going to repeat the same thing on the other side and voila. I know it looks like there's a lot of product build up, but that's just the shea butter cream and the gel, so don't worry, it'll dry clean. Okay, so now it's time to twist the hair up. I'm going to grab a section of hair and I'm going to put the rest away. And out of this section, I'm going to grab a smaller section of my hair and put the rest away. And then I'm just going to detangle it again just to make sure that there's no knots or anything in the hair. And then I'm going to apply some of my shea butter cream and I'm going to begin twisting the section. The way that I like to twist my hair is to start at the top and I'll twist a little bit, add a little bit more in, twist a little bit and add a little more in until I get to the very bottom. Twisting my hair like this helps my hair be already separated when I take my hair down and it causes less frizz. Okay, so now it's time to do the knots at the end. You're going to take two of your fingers and place them at the base of the twist. Then you're going to wrap the hair over your fingers. And then you're going to wrap the rest of the twist around the upper portion of the twist. This kind of creates a bantu knot at the bottom of the hair. Once you're done twisting, you're going to stick up your two fingers and you're going to grab the hair and you're going to pull it through the little hole that you created. And then you're going to slide the rest of the hair down to secure the knot in place. And then you're going to repeat this on all of your twists until you're done. And as you can see where I did my big twist in the front where there was a little product buildup, now that my hair is dried a little bit, you can see that there is no residue there. So now it's the next morning and I am definitely not a morning person, but it is time to take my hair down and I was rushing this day. So I tried to film it really quickly because I think I was about to be running late. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put, place a little bit of Shea Moisture Cream on my ends of my fingers. And I'm just gonna take down each twist. And since I twisted my hair in those little sections, I really don't have to separate anything out. I just need to untwist and then fluff at the end and I'm good to go. And that's pretty much it, you guys. Thanks for watching.